Sanitary centers like this one is becoming more and more common in industries such as pharmaceutical and food industries. The problem with these sensors are that they are normally very difficult to calibrate. But with our RTC 168 temperature calibrator, we have made a calibrator where you can calibrate this difficult sensor in four different ways. There are two ways to do it dry and there are two ways to do it wet. Method number one. Calibration of a sanitary sensor in a special drilled insert. This is the easiest and fastest way to calibrate a sanitary sensor dry. What you need is a special drilled insert to fit the sanitary sensor. And naturally we also need to use our special designed reference sensor and we mount that to the special drilled insert and this is drilled so that the depth of the reference sensor and the sensor on the test will be the same. Then we mount the sensor on the test, the system is ready, we can now put it into the calibrator. And with that done, we are ready to do the calibration. Method number two. Calibrating of a sanitary sensor dry in an ad adapter together with an RTC156 clamp insert. This is also a very simple setup. What you need is for users of an RTC156 to reuse their clamp sensor. And this clamp sensor is fitting directly into a special adapter like this and then you can mount your reference sensor like this and as always in the same depth as the sensor that you are going to test. So now it is ready we can put it into the calibrator. So everything is ready and we can now set a temperature. Method number three Calibration of a sanitary sensor in a bath. What we need now is a sensor basket. We need a steering magnet. And then the patent pending heat conveyor in the sensor basket. And then we have the reference sensor put in like this to be fixed positioned. And then the sensor on the test is mounted and then we can put the system in the calibrator. So, and with the heat conveyor you can see that the sensor is in a fixed position so you have high repeatability when you calibrate next time. So now we need to set the stirrer speed. We go into the menu Go into the steerer setup and we set it like 25 and you can now hear that the steerer is running and now the setup is ready we can now set a set temperature. Method number four. Calibration of a sanitary sensor in a bath in a container. For that purpose we need first of all the container and the sensor basket with the steering magnet and then we need our pattern pending heat conveyor like this so and then we need to mount the reference sensor so now we only need the center on the test, put it in here like this, then we actually ready. Then we take everything and put it into the calibrator. So, and now we are ready. The only thing we need right now 
is to set the stirrer speed as well. So we go into the menu and we go to the stirrer menu, go into it and we set the stirrer speed to like 25 and enter, off we go and you can hear the stirrer is running. Now the system is ready, the only thing we need to do right now is to set a set temperature. The purpose of designing this special container is that our customer wants that we can make a very fast switch from wet to dry calibration. So now we can just take out the wet calibration, no contamination, no time for cleaning the calibrator. Just make ready for the dry calibration. Very simple and easy like that. Take the insert, put in the reference sensor, put the sensor on the test on the top. And then we are ready to calibrate. But for safety, we have also made this lid to put on the container. So now we can transmute that safety. Now we are ready to do dry calibration. This is the fastest switch you can do from wet to dry calibration.